You ready to jump into this Salesforce and AI thing? Absolutely, let's dive in. You know, you always send over the most interesting stuff, by the way. Well, thank you. Always happy to share what I'm finding. Yeah, this Salesforce video, what was it called again? Uh, What's Salesforce? Salesforce Explain. Yeah, yeah, straight from their YouTube channel, right? Right on, right from the source. It's uh, It really highlights something that I think a lot of us are dealing with these days. Oh, absolutely, yeah. What part's standing out to you? Well, just this whole, like, data overload thing. Oh, we're, yeah. Like, we're drowning in data, right? Totally, it's overwhelming. The video mentioned, I think it was, the average company uses over a thousand different apps just for customer data. Wild, isn't it? A thousand. Like, how is that even possible? And then trying to make sense of it all, forget it. It's no wonder businesses are struggling to, like, connect the dots. And that's where I think this data cloud thing comes in that they were talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So instead of having your customer information, like, scattered all over the place. A thousand different silos. Yeah, exactly. Data cloud brings it all together. Unifies it, makes it usable. Yeah. So it's like the, what's a good analogy? The central nervous system for all your customer data. That's a good one. I like that. Okay. So we've got all this data in one place. That's great. But then... What? That's where the AI comes in. Right, because collecting the data is one thing, but actually using it effectively, that's the real challenge. And they made a point to emphasize that just having the data isn't enough. Which is true. I mean, what are you going to do? Stare at a spreadsheet all day. Exactly. And that's where, uh, what's it called? Uh, Einstein. Einstein. Yeah, that's their AI, right? Right. So Einstein, it goes beyond just crunching numbers. Okay, so how does it work? They focus on this idea of uh, metadata to add yeah. context. Metadata, okay, now you're losing me a little bit. That sounds kind of technical. It is a little jargony, but it's actually pretty simple. Break it down for me. Okay, so imagine you have a spreadsheet with customer names and purchase dates, right? Yeah. Metadata would be like adding notes to that spreadsheet, explaining what customer name actually means. Is it the account name or the individual's name? Okay, so it's like giving the data some extra meaning. Exactly, it's like giving the AI a set of encyclopedias so it understands the why behind the what. So instead of just seeing a bunch of random data points, it actually understands what those data points represent. And how they relate to each other, which is key. So it's like teaching the AI to think more like a human analyst would, but on a much larger scale. Exactly. By understanding the context of the data, Einstein can generate more accurate insights, make smarter recommendations. Okay, now that's impressive. I'm not going to lie. It's what sets Salesforce apart. They're not just throwing data at an algorithm and hoping for the best. They're actually teaching it to, like, think critically about the data. That's the idea. Okay, but hold on a second. Mm -hmm. With all this talk about AI, what about the, you know, the elephant in the room? What's that? Data privacy, security, all that. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a big one. I mean, I imagine that's a major concern for businesses, especially when you're talking about sensitive customer information. For sure, and they address this head on in the video. They're very aware of those concerns. Okay, good. So what are they doing about it? They position Einstein as a trusted AI, it's built from the ground up with CRM in mind. So it's not like they just tacked on some security features as an afterthought. No, they emphasize that data privacy and security are baked into the design Yeah, from day one. That makes it, I mean, it'd be pretty hard to gain people's trust if you were like, oh yeah, don't worry, your data's probably safe. Exactly, they're trying to get ahead of those concerns. Which is smart because I feel like that's like the biggest hurdle for AI adoption right now is just people are rightfully so concerned about what's happening with their data. Totally. Transparency is key. Okay, so they're saying all the right things, but how are they actually backing it up? They go into some of the specifics in the video talking about using things like data masking to protect sensitive information. Data masking? So what is that? Like, are they giving the AI a censored version of the data or something? That's a good way to put it. But then how does it learn if it doesn't have the full picture? That seems kind of counterintuitive, right? That's the beauty of it. It's like, you know those blurry photos where you can still kind of tell what it is? Yeah. It's like that they're teaching Einstein to read a blurry version of your customer data. Interesting. So it can still understand the overall patterns and trends without ever seeing the actual sensitive details. Exactly. Okay. That's actually pretty clever. I like that. Right. It allows businesses to benefit from the power of AI without compromising on data security. Okay, that does make me feel a little bit better about the whole thing. It's all about finding that balance. That right? is, it is. So they're basically saying, you can have your cake and eat it too. Pretty much. Now you're speaking my language. Gotta love cake. All right, so we're sold on the whole data security thing. 
But let's be honest, when most people hear Salesforce, they think of it as this giant platform for like Fortune 500 companies. Oh, yeah. It definitely has that reputation. Right. So how does this all apply to, you know, the average business owner or someone like me just trying to stay ahead of the curve? That's where the Einstein One platform comes in, I think. Einstein One platform. Okay. I haven't heard that one before. This is where they're really trying to, like, democratize AI, make it accessible to everyone, regardless of their technical expertise. But democratize AI, I like the sound of that, but how does it actually work? It's about providing the tools and the framework so you don't have to build everything from scratch. The video mentioned no code, but that still sounds pretty vague to me. Think of it like this. Imagine you want to bake a cake, but you don't know the recipe. Okay, I'm listening. The Einstein One platform is like having a pre-made cake mix. It provides all the essential ingredients and instructions you need, even if you're not a master baker. Okay, I can get on board with that. So instead of needing to hire a team of data scientists to build custom AI solutions. Right, which can be incredibly expensive. I can use Einstein One as a foundation and customize it to my specific needs. Exactly. It's about empowering businesses of all sizes to harness the power of AI. Without needing a PhD in computer science. Precisely. Now that's what I call a game changer. I'm here for that. It's a pretty powerful concept. It is. It is. But all right. Enough about the technical stuff for a minute. Let's talk about the cool factor. Oh, yeah. Let's have some fun with it. The video mentioned something called Einstein AI Copilot, and it sounded like, you know, like having your own personal AI assistant. Basically. And who wouldn't want that, right? Let's sign me up. Like, imagine you're working on your computer and you've got Einstein right there in your Salesforce apps whispering insights and recommendations in your ear. Like a little AI Jiminy Cricket. Yes. Okay, I love that. So walk me through this. Let's say I need to write a follow-up email to a lead. Okay, so you're in your email. You've got your leads information up. Yep, and I'm drawing a total blank. Einstein can actually draft the email for you based on past successful emails. Wait, hold on. It can actually write my emails for me. It can help you, yeah. I mean, I know AI is getting good, but that's kind of freaky, right? A little bit, but also pretty amazing. It is amazing. But also, what about my voice? You know, like making sure it sounds like me and captures my unique style and all that. That's the beauty of it. It learns from your past interactions and tailors its suggestions accordingly. Oh, interesting. So it's not about replacing my voice. It's about like amplifying it and making me more efficient. Exactly. It takes what you're already doing well and helps you do it even better. Okay, now that is seriously cool. It's pretty slick. And it's not just limited to emails, right? They mention it integrates with other tools like Slack, which, let's be real, is where I spend half my life these days. Oh, me too. Slack is essential. Right. So Einstein AI Copilot is designed to be like seamlessly integrated into your existing workflow, no matter what you're working on. Whether you're in sales, marketing, customer service, it doesn't matter. It's there to assist. Okay, let me test you. I need a quick summary of a recent customer call, but I don't have time to listen to the whole thing. Einstein can provide that. Just pull up the call transcript and ask for a summary. No way. What about this? I want to know if anyone mentions my competitor on social media, like, right away. Einstein's got you covered. You can set up real-time alerts. This is all starting to sound less like artificial intelligence and more like, well, actual intelligence. Right. It's a little spooky, but in a good way. The future is here. It really is. It really is. It's kind of like, you know, having a super smart assistant who can process information way faster than we ever could. Okay, but an assistant who's also got your back on the privacy front. Exactly. And that's something they really emphasize. It's not just about being smart. It's about being responsible with the data. Which honestly is kind of refreshing to hear because sometimes it feels like with all this AI stuff, people are just throwing caution to the wind. Yeah. It's like, hey, we can do it, so why not? Exactly. And look, I'm all for pushing boundaries and exploring new possibilities, don't get me wrong, but it's got to be done, you know, responsibly. Absolutely. No doubt about it. Okay, so we've talked about the data, the AI, the security, but how does this actually play out in real life, you know, like in a business setting? Well, they give some good examples in the video, right? Like yeah. for marketing, Einstein can help identify target audiences personalized customer journeys. Okay, but how specific are we talking here? Because I've seen those personalized ads that are just like wildly off base. Right, but this is different. Remember, Einstein has that deep understanding of the data, the context. It's not just looking at surface level stuff. So it's not just like, oh, you looked at a pair of shoes online. Here are all the shoes. Exactly. It can connect the dots in a way that traditional systems haven't been able to. So it's about understanding the why behind the buy, right? 
Exactly. And then using that understanding to deliver truly relevant experiences. Okay. So that's marketing. What about sales? They talked about how Einstein can help sales teams prioritize high potential leads, get a more detailed view of deals in progress. So it's like having an extra set of eyes on everything and not just any eyes, like super powered AI eyes. Right. And it can also automate a lot of those tedious tasks that sales reps hate. Oh, tell me more about that, because I feel like anything that eliminates tedious tasks is a win in my book. Right. So think about things like writing follow up emails, logging calls scheduling meetings oh my gosh the scheduling don't even get me started it's like hurting cats sometimes einstein can handle a lot of that for you so you can focus on you know actually closing deals which is you know kind of the point of sales exactly it frees you up to be more strategic more human in your interactions it's because at the end of the day people buy from people right exactly but ai can make those people a lot more effective okay that's two for two marketing and sales what about customer service? Because that's another area where it feels like things can get, you know, really impersonal really fast. Oh, for sure. But that's another area where Salesforce is using AI to actually make things more human. Okay, how so? Well, first of all, Einstein can help customer service agents provide instant support across multiple channels. So like email, phone, chat, social media. So no more like getting bounced around from department to department, trying to find someone who can actually answer your question. Exactly, it streamlines the whole process. And probably saves everyone a lot of frustration in the process. Definitely, but it goes beyond just that. Einstein can also analyze customer interactions in real time and provide agents with like helpful tips and suggestions. So it's like having a coach right there with you, listening in and saying, hey, maybe try this approach, or here's some information that might be relevant. Exactly. It's all about empowering agents to be more knowledgeable and more helpful. And hopefully happier in their jobs, because let's be real, customer service can be tough. It's not easy. But AI can make a big difference. It sounds like it, it really does. Okay, so we've covered a lot of ground here, marketing, sales, customer service. And it seems like Einstein is like, the common thread. It's the brain behind it all, yeah. The brain, the heart, the, I don't know, the everything. The secret sauce? Yeah, <laughs> secret sauce. But it's not really a secret anymore, is it? I mean, Salesforce is being pretty upfront about how they're using AI and why they think it's so important. Which I think is smart, because the more transparent they are, the more trust they build. Exactly. And trust is everything in this game, you know, because at the end of the day, people are still hesitant about AI and they want to know that their data is being used responsibly and ethically. And that the companies they're doing business with are being upfront and honest about how they're using it. Exactly. Nobody wants to feel like they're being manipulated by some, you know, shadowy algorithm. Right. Or that their information is being used against them in some way. So transparency is key. And it sounds like Salesforce is taking that to heart, which I got to say is pretty impressive. It's definitely a step in the right direction. Yeah. It is. It's about moving beyond the hype and really looking at the practical implications, the ethical considerations, all of that. And I feel like we've only just scratched the surface here, which is exciting, but also a little daunting, you know? Oh, absolutely. It's a lot to process. It is. It is. But OK, let's bring this back to listener name for a minute. OK, sounds good. We've covered a lot of ground here from data clouds to AI co-pilots to the importance of data privacy and transparency. It's been a wild ride. It has. So if you had to distill it down to one key takeaway for someone like listener name who's, you know, deep in the marketing trenches, what would it be? I think the biggest thing is Salesforce isn't just about managing customer relationships anymore. It's about really understanding those relationships. OK, I like that. So it's not just about like organizing your contacts and sending out mass emails. Right. It's about using AI to get those insights that would have been impossible to get before. And then using those insights to create truly personalized experiences, right? Exactly. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Connecting with your customers on a deeper level, anticipating their needs, delivering value. And doing it all in a way that respects their privacy and builds trust. Absolutely. That's non-negotiable. It is. It is well said. Well, I don't know about you, but my brain is officially full. Mine too. It's a lot to take in. It is. It's a lot to take in, but in the best way possible, you know, because this is the future we're talking about here. It's very exciting stuff. It really is. And I think the biggest takeaway for me is that it's not just for the big guys anymore. Salesforce is making this technology accessible to everyone. And that's huge. That's how real change happens. Exactly. When we all have access to the same tools, the same opportunities, that's when things get really interesting. I completely agree. Well, on that note, I think we've earned ourselves a break. What do you say? Sounds good to me.
All right, listener name. We're going to go recharge our AI-powered brains, but we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on all of this? How do you see Salesforce and AI shaping the future of your industry? Head over to our website or find us on social media, and let's keep this conversation going. Until next time.